Hi there. Welcome to Ben's Astrophotography. I always say shooting deep sky objects is very easy. You only need to do three things right. Number one, you find it. Number two, focus it. And number three, you keep it there. So today we are going to talk the very first one, how to find a celestial target. On paper, it's very easy. Let's open Sky Safari to show you. Just like our longitude and latitude system on Earth, we have a globular coordinate system for the sky. We call it equatorial coordinates. And each star or galaxy or nebula has their own coordinates. Take M31 here, RA004347 and DE 412220 That's his unique address. To use this address or equatorial coordinate system, we need two things. Number one, polar alignment, to make sure the rotation axis of our mount is the same as the rotation axis of our Earth. And second, we need an equatorial mount that can rotate on both RA and DEC directions. The very first generation of equatorial mounts for amateurs that I used about 20 years ago has the mark of coordinates on both RA and DEC axis. So I call them a dial 2 system. Let me show you. This is a homemade dial 2 system, so called dial 2, that I built based on the Vixen Polary mount. And uh, you can see three dials here. This is a sidereal time. Uh, I only need to set it up at the beginning of the session. And uh, to point to a target, I only need to loosen this and dial, you see the marker here, uh, to the correct RA. So let's say it's 13 hours half, okay, 13 hours 30 minutes. And I lock it here. And then I loosen this one and dial the declination to if it's zero degrees. Okay, so minus means south, uh, plus means the north. And uh, I dial it here and lock it. And that's it. The target should be within the field of view if it's a short lens like this or lower than 300 millimeters. So this is first generation, not exactly look like this, but the mechanism is like this. You need to dial uh, the RA and the DEC to find your target. Of course, now we have the second generation go-to mount like this one. It motorized both the declination and the RA and it has a small computer to store all the equatorial coordinates of thousands of celestial targets. What you only need to do is to put in the name of the target in the small keypad like M31 or NGC 2244 and uh, it will pull out the coordinates based on the time and the longitude it will do the calculation and slew to the target by itself automatically just like magic but go-to systems do have their limits in astrophotography use we simply cannot afford to have the target approximately centered i don't need to mention how much precious time i spent on centering the target under clear skies and all those frustration so that's why when I heard about plate solving, I adopted it right away. Let's take a look. I'm using Sequence Generator Pro here. And today's target is M44. I have entered the coordinates already. I only need to hit on the center on, and then it goes. First, it will slew to the target according to the coordinates. That's the go-to function. And then it will take a picture at what it is pointing at. Then it extracts the star dots and recognize the pattern, compare it with the database and figure out where exactly my scope is pointing at. After some calculation, it will have the RA error and the DEC error. The first attempt failed because the total error is more than 3000 pixels. And right after that, it will send the delta instructions to the mount and the mount will do a delta slew 
and start the second attempt. Again, it will take pictures and extract the stars, recognize pattern, compare it to the database, and then it will know how is the error. Uh, now it's 12 pixels and 5 pixels. Total error is 13 pixels, well within my uh, tolerance range. By the way, my chip is 4000 by 3000 pixels. The error 13 pixels is really negligible. All this plate solving process is automatically done by the software uh, with help of the hardware. There's nothing manual here. It takes only one or two minutes to finish the whole process. And I will end up with the target right on the center. So this is plate solving. I call it astrophotographer's ultimate dream come true. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.